Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutation to all you occupants pushing this truth and true sincerity. I'm the brother I know for the GMS Atlanta Church. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I'm going to start off in 2 Ezra, the ninth chapter, verses 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even for the beginning. And I want to go to verse 1 because um, we're measuring the time diligently with this word. All right. And I want to get into a lesson on patience and waiting on the Lord because we don't exactly know when the Lord is coming back. You know, we uh, are vexed here in Babylon the Great, but we're commanded to wait on the Lord. Because when we wait on the Lord and we know uh, these signs that are coming, all right, we have hope. And we don't want to lose hope in the sight of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so we're measuring the time diligently. You know, you got earthquakes and uproars of the people, earthquakes in diverse places, commotions and wars. Even Yahweh Shai said in Matthew, uh, the 24th chapter, that these are the beginning of sorrows. So we're waiting for these final prophecies. I know we see certain things happen in the news. We just got to wait patiently for the Lord. You know, we see the news last week that Saudi Arabia uh, is uh, not dealing with the petrol dollar. Hey, man, that's going to take some time. All right. Before this dollar totally collapses. You had this president of Serbia that said World War Three could start in three to four months. Well, I just saw that and, and went back to sleep, man, because basically we got to wait on the Lord. You know, we see certain news articles when we jump up. This is it. Hey, we've got to wait on the Lord still. This is our Psalms. 55, I think it's Psalms 56, excuse me. No, nah, I think it's 55, excuse me. Or I think it's Isaiah 55, it's like Isaiah chapter 55. Isaiah 55 and verse 8, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, save the Lord. So just because we're catching hell to a certain degree and we see these prophecies come to pass, hey, we don't think like the Most High. The Most High moves on his own time. All right, we're just his servants patiently waiting. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to uh, Jeremiah chapter 6. And verses 2. Jeremiah 6 and verse 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. Zion is synonymous with synonymous, synonymous, synonymous with Israel. Excuse me, stammering lips. It's synonymous with Israel. So-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. <clears throat> we are likened to a comely and delicate woman. The ones that are coming back into this fold. So if you have a woman, you don't tell your woman everything. You just tell her what, what you just tell her what she needs to hear. And these scriptures are what we need to hear. And we got to wait on the Lord. The Lord is not going to tell us when he's coming back. OK, even his son doesn't even know the day. Let's go to Matthew. Um, 24. The only begotten son knew the only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who the world only calls Jesus Christ, doesn't even know the time. I think it's Matthew 24 and 36, I believe. Matthew 24 and verse 36, but of, the, of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So Yahweh Shah doesn't even know. So we got to keep pushing. All right. You know, certain things happen. <clears throat> you know, we thought the Lord was coming back six months when we first came into the truth. You know, I thought it was going to be over in 2020, really. You know, I don't know what this heathen talking about, man. Oh, he's talking about my shirt. Anyways, um. 
I'm outside the parking lot doing this lesson. But basically, we got to wait on the Lord, man. That threw me off. But we don't know when the Lord is coming back. So we still got uh, work to do in this ministry. We can't get distraught and then see news articles. And then when it don't come to pass, you know, you get distraught. All right. We got to we got to keep the morale up as well. We get, you know, certain things we can do. Matter of fact, um, let's go to Luke. Um, Luke uh, 19 and uh, verse 13. Luke 19 and 13. And he called his 10 servants and delivered them 10 pounds and said unto them, Occupy till I come. Now we're occupied with this ministry first and foremost, but also we can occupy ourselves with other things. You can have a hobby, all right? Bro brothers and the Great Millstone Atlanta camp, you know, we've been getting into uh, exercising. All right, certain things you can pick up as a hobby, all right? And some things you can take up so you won't be so uh, distraught or easily vexed. All right, we already know Elder Yaga Dahl from Houston did a camp, uh, did a beautiful uh, lesson. Basically going, to, going into, all right, we know that the wickedness is here. All right, you, you see the Transformers. You see the happy people, okay? You see the Skittles people out here. All right, you see the woman uh, running amok. Well, that's what the scripture said. The scripture said the love of many so ask cold. All right, so getting overly vexed over wicked people, we already know the reward for wicked people, man. All right, we already know the reward for, for the people who slighted us the wrong way. All right? So we got to occupy, first and foremost, with the truth. But if you got a hobby or something that you can do on your side that will relieve the stress of being in Babylon the Great, so do it. The scriptures talk about being good to yourself. All right? And the officer, the brother Kashikwala said, hey, even on this side, you want to you wanna live the, you want to be in the best condition in hell. You want to live the best life you can live in hell. And I'm not saying going out here and be worldly, but if it is a certain, um, opportunity that, that presents itself, you know, financial, financially, that'll build you up, you know, being in that, uh, always through spirit. All right. It's not always the way to go. All right. Certain things you can do financially, you know, building your credit. That's something I got to work on. So that's something I got to look into next. Speaking to myself, first and foremost, there's certain things that we can do out here financially. All right. Just because we see these job closings don't mean it's over with yet, man. All right. You want to better yourself in this faith instead of being in that Eeyore spirit. What was me thinking the Lord is going to come back in six months on your time? <clears throat> now, these properties can move fast, but we got to wait on the Lord, man. All right. So the, um, this is. Um, I'm going to go to Psalms now and close out the lesson. This is uh, Psalms. Uh, Forty six. And Tim, because you'll 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 vex your mind, and you'll you'll be a plague of the mind to yourself, looking at these different news articles, looking at redacted, AM TV. Right, I used to watch that guy, and every week he was just on a collision course to give you all this information. And I'm gonna say this too, like the captain said at camp, beware the infodemic, beware of all this information that's out here, beware of always screenshotting something into the group text. All right. <clears throat> Storing up all this data in the phone. All right. Now we have certain signs according to the scriptures, but ev not everything is just breaking news, man. All right. We had a man in that camp. He was just morning, noon and night. Ding, 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 ding. All these notifications and where he's at right now. He ain't even doing the work. All right. Because he got tired. All right. Because he thought the Lord was coming on his time. So this is Psalms 46. <clears throat> Psalms 46 and 10 be still and know that I am the, I am the most high I will be exalted among the heathen I will be exalted in the earth so we got to be still all right we got to chill out sit back take a deep breath sip some water take a walk all right and know that the Lord is working we already see that the Lord is working with these different prophecies we just got to wait and be still man all right, uh, Psalms. 
Psalms 4 and uh, verse 4. It says, <clears throat> it says, stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. It's a lot. There's another scripture about being still. All right, sit there, you know, meditate on the Lord's, uh, the, the Lord's mercy, how the Lord brought you into the truth. You know, instead of griping about, man, the Lord ain't coming back on my time. Man, I wish we was out of here six months. I mean, it could happen. <clears throat> you know, you got these elections coming up. We'll see what happens with that. All right? We'll see what happens with the elections. You know, you, you got the Proud Boys are saying, all oh, hell going to break loose. Well, we'll see. Okay? Because everybody else is, we, we got a part to play. Just how, like, people on the left-hand side got a part to play. We got a side to, uh, to play on the right-hand side. All right. The Lord compares us to worms. Everybody here on earth is compared to a worm, man. So we're defenseless out here <clears throat> and we're patiently waiting on the Lord to defend us. All right. So this is um, Psalms chapter 40 and verse one, I believe. Psalms 40 and one to the chief musician, a song of David. I have waited patiently for the Lord. And he inclined unto me and heard my cry. Yeah, the Lord hears our prayers. All right. But we got to go through it a little bit longer. Hey, 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 hit you with this. We could be here another two, three years. We don't know. But we have to patiently wait on the Lord. All right. Patiently wait on these prophecies and be occupied. All right. Now I'm going to end it off on one of my favorites. This is uh, Psalms 27 and verse 14. It says, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Yeah, we have to be of good courage, man. We have to be of a good morale. We have to be upbeat in the spirit. Yeah, we see the world is crumbling. Well, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted the world to crumble. We want we wanted this uh, society to crumble, right? So we have to keep patiently waiting for this place to be broken down piece by piece. All right? We got to be of good courage. All right? We got to be cheerfully. We got to be cheerful, man. And, and in those things as well. We got to remember to, 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 to keep the charity, show the brotherly love, and stand on business for your Yahweh Hashem Shai. It says, wait on the Lord and be a good cheer, and he shall strengthen thy heart. The Lord is going to strengthen your mind when you realize that this is a race of endurance. He that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. The Lord is going to strengthen us over time. So he's going to build us up till that day comes. Lord willing, we be part of that number. The Lord is going to protect us, man. We're going to be good in that day. We're going to see a lot of calamity. We're going to go through a lot of trials and tribulations. But we're going to be good, Lord willing. We just got to wait and let the Lord strengthen us over time. All right? Like um, like it goes in the, uh, Zechariah 13 and 8, 13 and 9. All right? The goal is being refined. All right? It says, wait, I say, on the Lord. So, hey, Lord willing, I was edifying. Hey, we just got to patiently wait on the Lord and patiently endure out here in Babylon the Great or wherever you brothers might be at. So with that, I want to say shalom.